Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study post-order traversal of a binary tree using a stack. In post-order traversal of binary tree T, first left subtree of root of binary tree T is traversed in post-order. Then right subtree of root of binary tree T is traversed in post-order. And after this, root of binary tree T is processed. This is the algorithm to traverse binary tree T in post order using a stack. Here, root of binary tree T is node R and variable P contains the location of node that is currently being scanned. So in this algorithm, first of all, we will push null into stack and then location of root R will be assigned to variable p after this after this these two steps will be repeated until null is popped from the stack in step 1 we will proceed down the leftmost path rooted at P. For each node N of the path, we will push node N into stack. And if node N has a right child Rn, then we will push minus Rn also into stack. Now see what happens in this step. Suppose this is the binary tree T, right? And variable P contains the location of node A. Then according to this step 1, first we will push node A into stack. Node A has a right child also, that is E. Node E is the right child of node A. So minus E will also be pushed into stack. After this left child of node A that is node B is pushed into stack. Node B has a right child also that is node C. So minus C will also be pushed into stack. After this left child of node B that is node D is pushed into stack. Node D doesn't have any right child. Since node D doesn't have any left child we will stop there. In step 2 we will pop and process positive nodes from a stack. If null is popped, then algorithm will stop there. If a negative node is popped, then we will make it positive and assign its location to variable p and return to step one. It would be it would be more clear after this example. Suppose this is the binary tree T. We have to traverse it in post order. First of all, we will push null into stack. Here node A is the root of binary tree T. We will push node A into stack. Node A has a right child that is node C. So we will push minus C into stack. After this, left child of node A that is node B is pushed into stack. 
node B doesn't have any right child. After this, left child of node B, that is node D, is pushed into stack. Node D has a right child, that is node E. So minus E is pushed into stack. After this, left child of node D, that is node F, is pushed into stack. Node F doesn't have any child. So there is nothing to push into stack. Now we will pop top element of stack. Node F is the top element of stack. So node F will be popped and processed. Now minus E is at the top of a stack. So minus E is popped and first its minus sign is removed. Now it will become E. We will push E into a stack, right? Node E has a right child that is node H. So we will push minus H into stack. After this left child of node E that is node G is pushed into stack. Node G, node G doesn't have any child. So now there is nothing to push into stack. Now top element of stack is popped. Top element of stack is G. It is a positive node. So node G will be popped and processed. After this top element of stack is minus H. So minus H is popped from stack. First minus H is made positive. So it will become H. Right? Then we will push it into stack. H doesn't have any left child or right child. So there is nothing to push into stack. Now H is the top element of stack. So node H is popped and processed. After this node E will be the top element of stack. So node E will be popped and processed. After this, top element of stack will be node D. So node D will be popped and processed. After this, node B is top element of a stack. So node B will be popped and processed. After this, minus C is the top element of a stack. So minus C is popped and its minus sign is removed. So it will become C, right? So node C is pushed into stack. Node C has a left child that is node i. So node i will be pushed into stack. Now node i is the top element of stack. So node i will be popped and processed. Now after this node c is at the top of a stack. So node C will also be popped and processed. After this node E is at the top of a stack. So node A will be popped and processed. After this we will pop top element from stack. Now null A is the top element 
of a stack. So null will be popped. Therefore, we will stop there because 